but uh, why did it, it might kind of look strange. Well, why is everything in the body in the container? Well, it seems like that. So there's the end of the container and there's the start of the container. It seems like everything in the body is in the container, but actually not because when you look at the at the um, document here, we can see that um, oh, problem with uh, well, never mind. Yeah, okay, so now we can see it. Uh, um, what we see is we've got this gray background. Uh, that is actually the body fills up the entire window, but the container does not fill up the entire window. The container fills up the window up to a certain size. And when I go, when I make the window smaller, the container still is maintaining the size that I gave it. And that size is 800 picks wide. And so if we look at our, if we look at our, um, our code, we'll see how that works. Uh, so we set up the container to be everything inside the body. And then the container is given a fixed width of 800 picks. And so what's outside the 800 picks is going to be styled by the body tag itself. And, um, and that's why we have a gray color for the background of the body, but the container has a white color. And that gives us our gray and our white. I, I'm just mentioning it that that there because I don't think I mentioned it when I talked about this last time. So I just want to make sure that you've got that. Um, the other thing uh, progressing here from left to right, the contact support, then the then the product details and the product list becomes a little bit more detailed with a bit more work in it. So the contact support was the simplest one. The only added stuff that we had from Lab Four was um, this styling of the container, uh, which required the addition of the container, which I just mentioned. In the product uh, details one, oh, sorry, this is not even showing that, that, that this was the first one here, was the simple one here, right? And the, uh, so the second, this is the second one. What we got here is we got this column and we had this strange thing happening that some people asked me about, which is, you know, what's all this grid clear thing and all of that? What's that all about? And um, the grid clear, what we've done is we've created a new div at the end of the, at the end of the um, document, at the end of the page, and we've uh, given it a name. And then when we do our styling, the command that we put in there is to clear from the left. Because what's happening is above that, we've got with our, with the way that we've done our code, what we've got is we've got things um, that are taking up, oh, what do we, where is it? Uh, maybe it's, uh, yeah, sorry, it's not at the top, it's at the bottom, right? So what we've got is we've divided up the, the page into what will become columns um, because the container is, is 800 picks um, and uh, we're, we've, we're using up that 800 picks in two lots, right? And so the left lot will come first. The first, the first one will be, will be this and we're floating it to the left. We're floating everything to the left and what the floating, we float this one to the left and then we float this one to the left. And the effect of that is it makes one fall in behind after the other. And so we get this one floated to the left and then this one comes immediately after it, which, which effectively takes it all the way out to the edge. So we get the two columns. Now that works. Um, however, it would mess up the entire page if we didn't clear it at the end. So we floated it to the left and then at the end of the page, we clear it um, to the left. And so that, um, that uh, otherwise, if we didn't have this command, you might say, oh yeah, that's won't matter. We might end up with our picture sitting on top instead of, uh, instead of being to the left. And so we wanna make, so this helps us to make sure that our picture gets up on onto the left here and not on top where, where we don't want it. And that grid clear thing is even more important in the third page. So we style, style it the same. Everything is falling in from the left. It's it's like um, it's like we're laying down cards on a page, 
um, and we worked from left to right. Um, and uh, and actually with the third one, it's even more so. Imagine we lay down this card, then we lay down this card, then we lay down this card. We've run out of room. We don't have to say go down a new line. The fact that we've run out of out of room there means that when we and each of these cards as we lay them down, we're putting them in the leftmost position possible. So that's why this one started up in that corner. Then then that position was taken. So the next one takes the position beside it. Then that position is taken. This one falls in there. Then there's no room left. So the next one is going to try and go to the left of this, but it'll end up going down. And um, so that's um, that's how that is working. Um, now, again, going back to this, we talked about this last time, is that we have actually six boxes, which are these divs that we've called products, got six class, six divs, all of the same class called product. And so we can style them the same so that they're all exactly the same size. They all have the same dots around them. And, um, and they all can they all contain inside them two other divs, and the first div is going to be to take the image, and it's important the order that they're in, right? I mean, if this div came first, then the um, then the name would be on top, right? So things fill in in the order. So the first, so we uh, we create our div, uh, which holds that first product, which is going to go in the first place after the h1 there's the h1 and then the next then the next thing is going to be this block with the ser serration around it uh, serrated um, border and then the first thing inside of it is going to be the image and then the next thing after that is going to be the um uh the description and then that's the end of the box and then we open up our next box. So where's our, where, where, where's our next box going to go? It's going to go in the place beside it because we're, if you'll look and see how we do those boxes, um, we probably float them to the left so that they go in there. So uh, the boxes are products, right? Yeah, they're floated to the left so that we put the first one in the left position, then the next one comes in the next left position after that. And so that's how we order them. So that's very important that float to the left. Otherwise, these things wouldn't work. And then that's why also it's very important that when we're finished, we clear it to the left. And um, so that's why after the very last product, we put in another div and we clear that. Um, I hope that that sort of just a different, slightly different things, uh, the same problem so just talking about the same problem that we had last time, but uh, just a little bit different perspective on it. I think that's kind of all that I wanted to say about that. Um, maybe you have some questions. 